Hmm. It's a 25 and 3 second game. Just stick with what we know and what we like doing. Let's just push this pawn here. Let's capture. why we put the pawn there so that the knight can't be hassled oh good shot develop small pieces for us which is quite nice the king hasn't castled yet can we put a check on yes we can drops the pawn and it's still going for the quick and dirty little pawn here so we may as well just castle Okay, once his queen's come here, so his bishop can come and do this. So if we did attack, then the queen just goes there. And then we can attack, but then his bishop takes, so we won't do that just yet. Okay, keep things in our back pocket for now. Let's see what we want. Bishop's not got any protection. Could look to attack it, opens up the rook. Rook's facing the queen, doubles the pawns, but I don't have a problem with that. What do we think? Uh, and you know what? I'm going to let him go for this. Get the queen here. Yeah. I'm going to let him do that. Do, 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 do. I'm feeling comfortable about the situation. I'm going to come here because the bishop doesn't have any protection. So if they forget themselves, we'll take it off the board. Conscious is going to want to get the pawn attacking the bishop, so it goes here, so his bishop gets to do this. So, probably getting the rook out of the way or moving the king. So, now we're targeting this pawn, so if he does come down, so I'm just going to move the king out of the way because that's what they're wanting to do, just based on their earlier. Ah, so, he's uh, gone there. So, are we falling into a trap by taking this pawn? If we take the pawn, we're on his rook, which doesn't have any protection does his bishop have some sort of fancy technique no it doesn't so i think we can take this pawn so the knight's obviously going to move somewhere to well move it to there to protect the rook so we can bring the queen back but i suppose we're gonna to have to come here because we well we could come here facing off their queen but then does their bishop have an attack on our king or a rook no okay Okay, so the bishop's moved back. I don't want to fall into a trap, you know. I take and then his bishop. Oh, and then his bishop comes here. Oh, very wily. We take the bishop comes here with the support of the knight. Where does the queen go? Queen can't take this ball because this bishop is actually um, defending this. So that's a queen trap in its own right. So we're not going to fall for that. There's no way out. We take. If we, take, and we can't take the knight because the rook will take us so we just need to move the queen back out of here simple yep yeah. let's just bring the queen back out now it's probably going to reverse and attack here we'll look to see if we can touch onto the queen a little bit is there anything free for us while we're doing that no let's do that should we preempt maybe? I don't think. Oh, what's up? Oh, he's got a pawn. Oh, now they've gone for clever. They're getting clever. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, right. Fair enough. Down a pawn. Oh, we're not down a pawn. What's happened there? Oh, well, we're a pawn up anyway. Oh, we must have been a shame because the queen took the pawn up there, didn't it? Duh. Right, okay, so this rook don't have any uh, protection on. It's looking to double our pawns. Um, oh, 
Oh, that wasn't too much to worry. I thought I was down a pawn. <laughs> I said he was going for cleverness. Although it was quite a neat move bringing the bishop there. So he actually got the pawn back. So that's where the cleverness lies. I mean, we're looking to maybe go here and go backwards and forwards. Could be a draw. But because they've got cleverness in this, there, oh, he's got a two on one here. Damn it, man! I'm giving everything up today, aren't I? He's got a two on one with his bishop and the rook. So any fancy players that I've got are out of the window. Ah, oh, dear, it dear. It just takes one move and then it all goes sliding down. He's not gone for it, but he's given his king a little bit of flight square here. But he still does have this two on one. Blah, 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 blah. And now he's attacking our bishop. So we could bring the bishop here, take the sting away from the two on one. Let's bring the bishop here so then we're not worried about that. This is not going to work for long because it's just going to hide there. So we're not going to get any re repeating type situation. And he's got this pawn. Oh my. <laughs> I think I'm defending all the areas and he's got stuff everywhere. Oh, shabby times. I think I need to probably take a rest and not play any chess today. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all these gaping holes I'm leaving I mean I've got a pawn here haven't I but he's got it because the diagonal is covering so I haven't got the pawn I'd have to give up the bishop but then I'm still going to be down the pawn oh what is this I don't think that was a good move so we can't get the check he drops down But our worry was that it was getting this pawn, wasn't it? So maybe we should just move this pawn out of the way. Or maybe we should just attack the bishop like we could. But because his rook is attacking the knight, that ain't going to wash, is it? Oh, dear me. Put the check. It goes here. the check it goes there so we do have we can go here and that's not really any good is it because you can't definitely go there so where do I go from there nowhere nowhere so I think that's a bit of a waste of a check so what about reversing bringing the knight round still got this pawn though hasn't it what about bringing the knight round this way? Let's bring it here. It's, we've got to get this knight out somehow because he needs to get his rook involved. Not that I want them to, but that's potentially where they're looking. This king's feeling safe. This pawn doesn't really have any protection on. Well, it does, the bishop, but the rook's blocking there at the moment. So you could, oh, we can't go there yet. Can't go there yet because the rook is there. My rooks aren't linked up properly either. This is not a very good game today at all. This is one of those I'm asleep games. The rook has actually moved looking to squish my king is he going for simple because he needs to have the white square bishop in there somewhere but the white square bishop's just going to get taken off the board as we speak but if we take he takes then his rook comes here looking to challenge here this pawn can't move up I've 
think I've forgotten what I just said then. If we take what? <laughs> take the bishop, that's right. Take the bishop. Say so takes back, wants to open up the rook. And if he, he takes back and wants to open up the rook, then we can just push on to the put bishop here. Yeah, let's do that because I don't know what I'm doing here. It's all a bit of a mess, and I'm my position is not good. I'm only gonna say on a plus side of things for us is. We don't have double pawns like what the opponent's got here. We do. He's going to link up his pawns now, so he's got a benefit there because his pawns are linked. Um, we don't have a rook in the centre of the board, so that's a kind of benefit. Any potential attack that they do have, we have a potential for blocking. It's the smallest of not advantages, but it's slightly better than. Okay can't do any of that let's just do this now shall we if he forgets himself don't forget the knight can take it can happen blocked in the rook that's got to be some sort of benefit for us just going to bring the knight here Attacking the rook. Oh, gosh, just about to move that then, but good job I was messing with the arrows. Now he's got like an x ray through, but we do have a bit of an attack and forky type thing. So, do they not lose that rook now? can't go there, well he can go there he gets taken, he can go here he gets taken, he can go there he gets taken so is there something where he's saying right I'm going to attack his bishop, oh his rook can come down he's not doing that though, ok so his bishop's going to attack our rook so now we've got the open file type thing knight obviously is going to move knight isn't moving interesting um, I don't think that's right is it dude attack the bishop give them something to think about mm. no do this to double the rooks and it's keeping the knight babysitting the bishop in my head anyway So this was one of those games where you look, I look at it and if I look back on it I'll go man there's no way made you should have gained any advantage in that. So they've moved so we could actually take the pawn here. It's got our sights of a pawn and a check on our king. If we go here he starts making the pawn move down then it's giving us something to think about. can't block with the bishop really wanted to get across here but that's not happening I'm just bringing the king up and then maybe just slide it across a little bit then it's not in the eye line of the bishop it slows down our process he's attacking now so he's giving us things to think about let's just bring the bishop back yeah constantly giving things to think about worry about his king's going to be saved there but yeah he's moving a little bit manically now let's go here it's got the pawn oh my god let's go here Let's 
just about to say we've still got this pawn here but he's putting checks on he's giving me things to think about that's the whole idea isn't it with chess that's the answer you know just give them things to think about constantly all the time especially when you feel like you're kind of disadvantaged or your position's not as good okay so he's giving me stuff it's lesson pieces now so it's making it a little bit better for them we don't have pressure on this pawn now he's attacking our rook and if we do go and attack the pawn he then comes down the problem well it's not a problem but we go here he pushes the pawn down defended by the bishop we come here we're attacking the knight and the pawn can he defend this pawn don't think so so we can at least potentially take that off okay i think that sounds like a plan this pawn's got no protection but it's a long way off yet king's just going to jump in there it's got a nice little safe haven hasn't it it's just we do have a doubt square bishop which we potentially could touch here get the bishop here if the rook was here then we could start putting pressure on that that's a long term type situation but for now i think this is dropping maybe we can get here knight is under i don't think he'll go there because i get taken so he'll come here we drop down it's protected by the uh, bishop bishop's not protected by oh no pr bishop's protected by this pawn then we attack the bishop Some, something like that something like that is it bishop's gonna we can't because it'd be blocked by this won't it so let's run by that again uh, the knight drops down pawn attacks the bishop bishop can't go anywhere it's trapped so it takes and then the bishop takes so we should be a minor piece up if that happens Was that a four move calculation? Might might have been the limit, or it might have been three, might it? One. Two. Something's not right with that calculation too. Can't take the knight. What did we say? He's probably gonna have to move his king then into it or something. Or does he just move the bishop? We can't take we can't do that because he'll lose the pawn, won't he? I don't know what move he does after this. So we come down. Oh, silly me. He can come here with his knight. So once he goes there. It's one, two. Oh, the bishop's not trapped anymore, is it? That's three. But it does have to move somewhere. And then four, taking the taking the pawn all right yeah so that's like a four move calculation they seem to be taking a while i bet any money nothing happens like what we've just done with our four move calculation so after all that calculation the opponent moves the king we did say that was a potential option, didn't we? Ah, dear me. So, do we go with the attempt at doing this, attacking the bishop? No, because he's got loads of space here, hasn't he? So, do we not just take this pawn off the board? It's on a white square. It should be fairly safe, shouldn't it? Let's take this pawn. Okay, they took a long time over that move, so they obviously have worked out that we were potentially going to be doing that there is like a mate in situation here if we go up and if they don't see it 
then we get like a well it's not a mate but we'll be able to come back down and get their bishop off the board do we want to give it a try see if they're asleep It is moved, but but yeah, I suppose in a way they go down. So it's like check, then they go down. And then he's got space here. So could we do something before then? Could we do something before then, like try and sort of set it up? So if we attack this bishop here, this bishop is probably going to attack our rook, but then we'd obviously take the knight, so he's not going to want that. So if we attack, can't really see them coming. It could come there, maybe they could go there, but then he still loses the knight. So that's going to be upsetting the apple cart in it altogether. So I'm actually going to take the, attack the bishop. He may just come and attack our, and he wins the tempo and his bishop escapes anyway. And we're not able to just drop it down and we're still attacking his piece. So he does move, so we'll take the knight off the board. So they're moving a bit quick now, it's still x-raying through, but we can just take this pawn. So I'm going to keep pushing the pawn up. And keep pushing. Uh, that's a nice shot, why didn't I see that? I sort of focused on my own little... Let's just block the bishop. Let's grab. So it doesn't want the rook. Interesting times. Shall we just move the king back? Let's go for the bishop. It's going for a blockage. It's going for another check of my king, dear me. for that stalemate position. Do, do, do. Well, I'm not going to give it to you. Can have all the space to move up and down. That's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, keep moving up and down. That's right. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Keep moving up and down, that's all I'm saying. Thank you. Did not like that game one bit. And um, yeah, that was awful. I don't think I deserved to gain any advantage in that game whatsoever. Um Yeah. <laughs> you find games like that just catch you by surprise let's just have a look at this analysis
Crack it out. Say and take the A1. Uh, we talked it through. We, there was no way of winning that, was there? The queen's going to get trapped, is it not? Let's say knight e4. Saying bishop takes a4, a1. What? Knight takes g3. H takes. Hmm. You know, I didn't see it like that. That looked pretty simple, didn't it? So we should have just gone for it, but I was so focused on just getting my queen trapped. I didn't really focus on then attacking their queen. So we've done all that good work to get to that nice position. We, we needed to have followed it on. The continuation was key for us. Damn, shouldn't have panicked. Well, we knew that's what was going to happen. We can't, we can't move the queen. Just move to the other side of the ball. Can we attack there? But then I'm thinking, well, he can, well, can't he not just take our bishop with his queen? Knight take here, is it? Oh, right, okay. okay but then, the, just the knight not just take. Oh, but then we take the knight back. Oh, my Gideon, that was simple. Fear. I think that that was the start of the going backwards, wasn't it? As well, when I did that move. Ah, okay. Anyway, so we didn't do that, but next time, maybe learn. And it definitely doesn't like queen exchange. Yeah, I didn't think it would. That's where we they grabbed the pawn back when I thought they'd actually go, got a pawn up. Yeah, so that looked a bit messy for me. Didn't really feel advantageous like it's showing here. But um, so we put a check on, brought the knight up, brought the bishop back attacking. Yeah, it's all up and down. What's it saying here? Rook a e. No, I ain't doing. What am I doing that for? So it's attacking their bishop. Damn, computers think so weird. So attacking a piece, you're attacking me, you're attacking them. So it's like Paul Morphy, William Stylitz type thinking. Because um, if he does take, he's tripling his pawns. Damn. It's too easy when you look back on evaluation sometimes. Ah, dear. I think that was the whole wall, really. After that. I felt a little bit measured in my own self after that, you know, at this point here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty okay there. So, yeah, messed up quite a bit during that. And it was really quite simple. And if you look at the end position of what the computer was saying, um, it was giving us a better position. But when you see a queen can potentially get trapped, you t you're going to tunnel vision on that aspect. Um, so I think it's quite hard to pull yourself away from that and then look to say, well, I'm going to attack a piece of yours. And then you have to calculate the position, how it's going to end up after all of that. Ooh. Still got a long way to go, people. Still got a long way to go.